Cincinnati. We also sat down and talked to Jane Caldwell about being an underdog. Being the underdog in any situation is preferable. Um, you know, there's less pressure on you guys, there's more so on the other team. I'm not exactly sure why we're the underdogs. We're 4 and also with a harder schedule. This is definitely a game for the ages, the best against the best. Look at the open field tackle. That's Nene Gleaves and Danielle Hawkins. A loss of four as we meet Chicago starters. May Gamble, tight end. Ali Jistra, center. Quincy Hewitt, tight end. Shabria Civilian, wide receiver. Tamika Robinson, wide receiver. JaVale Thompson, running back. Jane Coldwell, quarterback. This game is on the shoulders of quarterback Jane Caldwell. This is the game she's been working for, going against the top team in the LFL. That is JaVille Thompson. After being limited to a four-yard loss on her initial carry, Thompson breaks off an 11-yard carry. That is the game plan tonight to feature JaVille Thompson. You see replacing Christelle the Ferrari Harris. She has a 5.3-yard average this year. Just a great season so far. She has become the go-to back in this offense, which has really turned into an offense that's running back by committee after losing Christelle Harris. You're going to see Shabria Civilian back there at times, as well as Tamika Robinson. Absolutely. Dave Mills, the offensive coordinator, said he's going to feature both of them tonight, get the run game established to make it easier for passing for quarterback Jane Caldwell. That's a third and three handoff. How about that athletic front for Nashville? led by Jade Randall, as now we meet Nashville's defensive starters. Dominique Malloy, corner. Nene Gleaves, your cornerback. Stephanie Collins, free safety. Jade Randall, strong safety. Stevie Schnorr, linebacker. Whitney Palmer, defensive end. Daniel Hawkins, defensive end. It's going to be up to middle linebacker Stevie Schnorr to hold up those A-gaps and stop that Chicago running game. That's Javille Thompson busting out in the open. A 20-yard carry on a fourth and five. Javille Thompson, I mentioned replacing Chris Del Harris. When I talked to Danica Brace, she said Javille Thompson is much more explosive now than Chris Del the Ferrari Harris is, and it's showing right there. She burst into the second level. What a game. Yeah, Javille Thompson is one of those running backs that has flown under the radar. And you can understand that when the Ferrari is ahead of you in the roster. Again to Thompson. That is five consecutive carries by Thompson. That'll be good for four yards. It's going to be interesting. They're featuring her tonight, but it is hot and humid. How long can they give her the ball this much? So far, she's the whole offense. Look at that break right there. Great defensive play to shut her down. Nashville is more of an athletic defense than Chicago has seen all season. So we'll see how that front three, that front line of Chicago, holds up against the likes of Stevie Schnorr, Danielle Hawkins, and Nene Gleaves. This is Caldwell losing her footing, throwing over the outstretched arms of Tamika Robinson. Heidi Ann on the coverage on Tamika Robinson had her covered like a blanket. She had to throw it away. You saw the timing was thrown off when Caldwell slipped, but she threw it away. Now they're going to tee it up again. Robinson, the fourth leading receiver in the LFL, and one of the favorite targets for Jane Caldwell. Jane Caldwell's accuracy will be tested tonight. You see the coverage already on that last play. They had him covered all over, all across the board. We're going to see how well Jane Caldwell can really throw tonight. Now a third and goal, ball at the six. Caldwell calling her own number to the goal line. Touchdown, Chicago. There is a flag on the play. That might be coming back, but right there, that shows you what kind of athlete Jane Caldwell was. Danica Brace, the head coach for Nashville, is more scared about her running than her throwing. And we've seen that most of this season. Jane Caldwell as effective as any Chicago running back. Illegal motion, five-yard penalty, still third down. Wow, so they are going to call that Caldwell touchdown back. Let's get another look here. <laughs> that is the collision at the goal line. Hey, Tom, tell that back ref they cannot hit our receivers downfield. The lobbying starts early for head coach Keith Hack, but I'm not sure. We didn't see the false start there. 
nonetheless, you did get a look at Jane Caldwell and how physical she could be as a quarterback. She ran through safety Heidi Ann. She is physical, she is tough, she's powerful, but that is a huge penalty against Chicago. Now third and goal, backed up to the 11. Caldwell looking to the end zone, nobody open. And just thrown down by Jade Randall. Servillian was open quickly on the eight route, the quick post pattern. Watch quick. If she throws it, she's open. She decides to tuck it, and she can't get by Randall. What a one-on-one -on -one tackle. That's right, Jade Randall. It is fourth and goal after Chicago had a first and goal at the Nashville 10. They've not advanced at all with four downs. They actually had a touchdown call back. That was kind of a phantom call, but to have six points off the board, this play is huge. A fourth and goal from the shotgun. A screen. Javille Thompson breaks through the first arm tackle, but not through Jade Randall's arm tackle. How about the effort of Jade Randall on this series? This is why Jade Randall was the league MVP, a perfect form tackle to stop Chicago and turn the ball over. A lost opportunity for the Chicago Bliss as they turn it over on downs in Nashville with KK Matheny at the helm. We'll take over at the two yard line. KK Matheny, not her best year, but she's totally accurate. Her rating is 124. She is more than anything a leader. She is the glue to this hey, team. Hey, I don't give a fuck what you do. You go after number seven. That bitch is not playing fucking corner against us. That's Keith Hack, ISOing Whitney Palmer, the right tight end for Nashville. This is an end around reverse. Dominique Malloy, make it name day, Gleaves. Gleaves, the rookie of the year nominee, breaks off a 19 yard run. She might be the fastest player on this team. Arguably, Malloy is, but Nene Gleaves can fly. Look at Gleaves just get to the second layer of that defense. That is the explosion that Nashville has and the reason they are the number one ranked offense coming into this game. A quick screen. This time Malloy. Malloy making it look really simple in eight yard that was reception. That a bullshit call down there. That was a fucking bullshit call. It cost us a fucking touchdown. With that pinnery ass bullshit. I agree with Coach Hack. That was a minor call. They didn't have to call it a championship game, and it did cost them points. They came off the board. That's a second and two shovel pass to Palmer. And Palmer loses it, but out of bounds. And we've got a flag on the play. Initial indications are it will go against Nashville and a hold. Kristen Morrison flying all over the field. What a hit. Holding. On the offense, number 17. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Will remain second down. A holding call on Nene Gleaves as we meet Nashville's offense. Danielle Hawkins, tight end. Nicole Phillips, center. Whitney Palmer, tight end. Dominique Malloy, wide receiver. Jade Randall, wide receiver. Stevie Schnorr, running back. KK Matheny, quarterback. K.K. Matheny has not played in seven weeks. It's going to be curious to see how accurate she is tonight. That first one very low intended for the center. Nicole Phillips falling incomplete. Allie Albert.